Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and today's video we're doing our April TBR. Now I have all of my books picked out and they're all sitting right here so that I could show them to you, but I decided to do a, something a little different with my TBR this month. So this month I've already put the books in order on how I plan on reading them. And what I did is I decided to just go with the smallest page count to the biggest page count. So without further ado, let's see what books and what order they will be read in. So the first book I have on my list, I have been told that I need to read this to see if I like it. And that is The Foxhole Court by Nora Skakovic. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that last name right. Sorry if I mispronounced it. But I was told that I need to read this and see if I like it. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is one of Hope from It's Hope's books. Um, her favorite book. So we're going to read it and see what, what, what we think. The second book on this list, and I've heard nothing but good things, and this is also the book club pick for April, and that is Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. There are quite a few booktubers that are like head over heels for this. I do love the cover and the premise of the story, so we'll read this and see if I like it. The next book is one of my nonfiction for the month, and that is The Bullet Journal Method by Ryder Carroll. Um, I have been giving thoughts to doing my own bullet journal. It's just something very simplistic and minimalistic to see if I like it. And so I figured, why not read the book about it? The next one on this list, and I did pick from my book series TBR to see what the next book series is to start. And I came out with the Sookie Stackhouse series. So this is book one, Dead Until Dark by Charlene Harris. I did read this one already, but in order to continue the series, I have to read the books. So we're gonna reread this one and then continue on with the series. The next book on my list is my other nonfiction for the month and that is Ordinary Girls by Jakira Diaz. Now this one, I can't say it has a special place in my heart because I haven't read it, but it has a special place in my heart for the fact that I know the author. The author was one of my professors at university, so I hope to get to this one and read it, love it, and yeah, so I look forward to reading this one. The next book on this list is Lore Olympus Volume 1. Now this should be a quick read. I think I slotted to only read this over a one to two day period purely because it is a graphic novel and even though it's a big one this should be pretty easy and pretty quick to read so that's kind of like a palette cleanser for me the last two books the first one will be finishing out a series for me and that is the ballad of songbirds and snakes by suzanne collins now this is a companion slash prequel novel to the hunger games and I believe this one also has a movie coming out in November. So why not get the book read, finish off a series, and prepare for a movie at the same time. And the final book of the month of April is a whopper and the biggest one on my list. And of course, we can't leave it out because it is a big part of a read-along that I'm doing. So without further ado, the last book on my TBR this month is Court by Tracy Wolf. This is the fourth book in the Crave series. This is the fourth book in the Crave-along that I am hosting among my other lovely, lovely co-hosts and I will link their channels down below. But we are going to be reading, annotating, tabbing, discussing 
all things court this month. The links and everything will be in the description again, like I said. And I believe we have yet to determine the um, discussion date. It's usually the last Saturday of the month, but I will have all the information once that is updated. There will be a Twitter. I will have the link, the links and all the information in the description. But this is my final book for my TBR coming in at 689 pages. And the first book, Foxhole Court, was a mere 251. So you can tell that there are super ranges of pages for those books. I'm going to see if I can hold them up just like this. Let's see how heavy they get and hopefully they won't fall over this. Ooh, it's already getting heavy. Two more. Two more. We're just going to go for it. There you go. One-handed. Eight books. My wrist is killing me. So we're going to go ahead and put those down. But that is my TBR. Well, and that's all for me in this video, guys. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you can see when new videos arise. And if you plan on reading any of these, let me know in the comments below. Or if you think I will enjoy one over the other, or if you've read any of these, leave me that comment down below. Until next time, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye!